So today I'm going to do a review or a fit and review or maybe an unboxing review on the Ludwig Atlas mount and the Indy BR3. Um, both are supposed to replace a lug, as you can see in the picture, and then support or replace a lug and, and that gives you a mounting system. So I'm going to fit this to my Pearl Masters. And you can see it was fitted with the um, Optimounts uh, on the t uh, 12 and also on the 10, which is there. Um, I don't like these. They're a good idea. They provide good isolation from the sound, but I don't like the way they look when they're on the drum. Um, and you can see it's, we've got a bit of fade here from where that one's been on. So I'll probably get these drums out in the sun a little bit, maybe try and equal the fade out. Also that 15 that you can see down there is, just, is the original color. So that needs to fade as well, but that's a different video for a different time. Let's put this down. So you can see I've got the BR3, the Indy Independent Drum Labs BR3 on there. Um, it's pretty good. It's very discreet. There's just a couple of things I don't particularly like about it. Um, the first thing really is the amount of movement on the drum. You can see by the way it's designed, it does move a lot. And okay, you're not going to do that with the drum, but you know, hitting it does move around a lot so it's got great sound um, isolation properties um, but I don't I'm not that keen on the way it moves around so what I'm going to do is this is the 12 so I'm going to take this off I'm going to put the Atlas mount onto this and then I'm going to fit the BR3 onto the 10 and see how we go with that. The reason I'm going to do that is because usually in this with this kit, if I'm playing louder, heavier music, I'll have 12, 15. And if I'm playing quieter gigs or, or softer music, then I'll use the 10 and the 14, which you can see there. So in theory, I shouldn't be hitting that 10 as hard. So we'll see. I think the BR3 will probably be fine on that. But we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to change them over now and then we'll see what happens a little bit later. Ta. I suppose also what I should do is um, show you how the Atlas mount box comes. The, the BR3 basically comes in a cellophane packet. I'd already unpacked that a few days ago. It comes in a cellophane packet um, with some indie drum lab branding on the cardboard tag on the, t you know, the hanging tag on the top of it. Um, and in there you get the bracket obviously the fixing screws and you get a memory lock as well. Uh, so in the Atlas box, let's see if I can do this with one hand, which is always tricky. Let's see if it'll just pour out. There we go. So like the um, P88 throw, which I must say is brilliant i don't see how they can still be using the old crappy 85s on a lot of their drums but well maybe they're not i haven't bought a new ludwig for a long time but the p88 is a massive improvement from anything else they've done anyway so you get this foam sort of stuff and as you can see the actual mount itself is considerably 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 bigger than the P88. Mm, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's fairly bulky, but it looks substantial. It looks like it can hold a lot more weight than the Indy uh, BR3. Instantly, don't like that. I don't like the wing nut. I, obviously I've seen pictures of it and I did see a video uh, of it before I purchased this, but I didn't think it was that big. That is one ugly ass wing nut I suppose maybe it's that big so you can get a, a bit of force behind when you tension up um, I don't know what else we got so we've got okay gaskets uh, thicker and thin so I'm guessing that's to be able to space this off the drum to get the lug 
receptacle to line up to the tension bolt, depending on the thickness of the hoop. Um, some fixing nuts, which are lock nuts by the looks of it, and some washers. Okay, that's those. What's this? Oh yeah, I did see these on the video. So these are spacers depending on what uh, size rod you're going to put in here. Uh, I think mine is 12.7, so it's as thick as it goes. So I don't even think I need those. But and from what I understand, if you do need them, then you put them in here, and there's some sort of collector that it this I think it click actually clicks into place. So when when it locates in the right place. So that would be fairly straightforward if I need them, which I don't. And I think this is probably a memory lock. Yeah, so this is a memory lock as well. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this on the 12 inch and take the BR3 off of the 12 inch and put that on the 10 inch. Um, and then we'll see how we go. So I fitted the BR3 <coughs> onto the 10 inch Tom, which looks pretty sweet. And I think because the Tom is a little bit lighter. I don't think it's going to move around as much, so I'll test that at some point. Um, but back to the Atlas mount. So that is it there. Um, and it is solid. It is really solid. And from what I'm guessing is this little, uh, there's some, uh, I don't know, whether they're polycarbonate, polyurethane, whatever, plastic or rubber inserts, which are keeping this part separate from that part, um, but it is proper solid. <clears throat> so, um, in my humble opinion, they're both around the same price, give or take a fiver. Uh, I think that the Atlas mount is better um, for me, as long as your case has enough room, because that's sticking out including that part about three and three and a half inches so your case obviously has to accommodate it um but yes yeah, for me it's a much better way of mounting mounting the tom um so i think i'm going to go with that very happy it seems to give good good resonance so yeah i think we have a winner with the atlas mount so i hope that was useful um, for people that want to compare the two uh, and i think if anyone wants to buy a br3 i may have one for sale because i may get another atlas mount for the 10 inch tom but um yeah we'll see so anyway I'll stop rambling now. Thanks for watching. And if there's any questions about either of them, then uh, please let me know. Cheers.